One common type of formatting is strike through. There is no built in keyboard shortcut for the format, but you can make your own following the advice in this quick tip. And best of all, it only takes a few seconds to accomplish. Word provides shortcut key combinations for many different formatting options. These shortcuts are provided for people who prefer to leave their hands on the keyboard rather than to use the mouse. For instance, you can use Ctrl plus B to make text bold or Ctrl plus I to make text italic. One common formatting attribute that does not have such a combination is strike through. Most people add it by displaying the home tab of the ribbon and using the strike through tool up in the font group. Or they can display the font dialog box. A quick way is just to press Ctrl D and then they can use the strike through tool that's right down here in the effects area. You can define your own shortcut key for strike through by making an easy customization in Word. Let me show you how you can add the shortcut in only a few seconds. If you don't already have the font dialog box displayed, go ahead and press Ctrl D. Once displayed, hold down the Alt key and the Control key and then press the plus key that's over on the numeric keypad of your keyboard. When you do, the uh, mouse pointer changes into a small little clover leaf symbol. Now, go ahead and click that strike through tool right down there. Notice when I moved that mouse pointer that it changed back into an actual pointer, an arrow, which is fine, but I'm going to go ahead and click on strike through right here. And when I do, I see the customized keyboard dialog box. First of all, notice that the strike through command shows in this dialog box already. It does that because we clicked on strike through just a moment ago. I'm going to make sure that the insertion point is here within the press new shortcut key box. Now, I just need to type whatever shortcut key that I want to use for the strike through format. I can use whatever combination of Alt, Control, and Shift keys that I want and then press the desired key to go along with that combination. If the combination is already taken, that information shows in the current keys area and then you can go ahead and change to a different shortcut key if you want to. Now I'm going to use the Alt, Shift, S combination in here. And you can see that it appears in that press new shortcut key area. I didn't type those words, I just pressed the keys. And you can see that that is currently unassigned, which is one of the reasons that I went ahead and selected that combination. Now I just have to go ahead and click on the assign button down here, and it is assigned for strike through, and I can close this dialog box and I can go ahead and uh, click on cancel in this dialog box. Now I can select text and I can go ahead and press Alt, Shift, and S and the strike through is applied to that text that I had selected. In other words, I have a shortcut key that I can use for strike through formatting. I hope that you enjoyed this quick tip. Thanks for joining me for a few moments today.